Officials at Fort Wayne Community Schools say their students won't be taking the I STEP online this year, and testing has been postponed until after Memorial Day. That's because the company the state pays to administer the test is having connectivity issues. It's a similar problem students faced last year when they had more than 5,000 interruptions. News Channel 15's Megan Royce continues our coverage of this tonight and joins us now with more. The decision to go to paper and pencil was a significant one made by FWCS officials. They say the stress from last year's online I STEP issues was not something they were going to put their students through again this year. We've spent a whole year preparing ourselves and fortunately knew the signs, knew which things to watch for. Imagine this. You've been asked to take a test, but you have to keep restarting it because of a bad connection. At some point, you'd become overwhelmed and frustrated. That's just a snapshot of what students went through last year with ISTEP. Since, the district has upgraded how students access the test. Our system is able to receive the information for the testing. We are having connectivity issues from CTB. We have increased our bandwidth to the internet by five times. We have went from a 400 meg uh, connection to a two gig connection. So the issue isn't on FWCS's end, rather the company that has been hired by the state to administer ISTEP. School leaders decided to pull the plug and go back to the basics. We will not expose our students, uh, their parents and our staff uh, to the same, uh, to, well, to the, to the same issues that confronted them last year. Some leaders hope this will make state education officials rethink the high stakes test altogether. After all, they say it was never created to grade teachers or schools. They were to give our teaching professionals another opportunity to diagnose where each and every one of their students was so that they could work better with the, the, the students' parents, so that they could work better with each other. Now the paper and pencil test should only take two to three days to complete. They'll have to wait until after Memorial Day to start that. It's going to take them that long to make those test booklets. And leaders say that they hope that uh, students will be able to finish this in time for the end of the school year. Okay, thank you, Megan.